I had to be sure that I was, uh, my camera was steady, that everything was, I was responsible for shooting any shots that were going to have paintings put in them as well. Otherwise they would jiggle, they'd, you'd have movement between the painting and the original, and that gave the whole game away if the part moved. When you photograph the first section and you photograph the second section, it had to be joined exactly. If they weren't, then they would move and uh, cause what we call jiggle. That would give the game away immediately. Now, would you leave that part of the film un unexposed? Uh huh. Had a black mask put up in front in those days. Now, where did you? How did you know where to put that mask? Well, you look through the camera, you lower it down until you get so the people's heads aren't being cut off. And wherever you need it, you put the black mask and it's quite close to the camera, it would have a soft edge. If you wanted it further back, so because the heads would be very close to the mat, it'd have to be further away. And that would be a big piece of painting and you'd have to mask the whole thing in. It was very complex when you, uh, when you were shooting original negative. But it's very dangerous too because if you do if you ruin that you wouldn't have anything else to go on. Now, how was the scene location chosen since you had you had to know that you could Well we'd be that. sent on a uh, location. Walt would call me in and say we're going to shoot down in uh, so and so I'd like you to go down and look and choose some spots. He had a great that I say it, but he had great faith in what I could do. And he gave me things, exciting things to do. Most people don't, don't work outside your, you see, I was working outside what was considered my job in England or anywhere else. I would be told that, no, that's not your job. Your job is this specific job. Whereas Walt didn't mind to go from one job or one part of the business so you could be moved straight through. You weren't held back by, com by the restrictions. Now, when you were on location and you were trying to find a place t to shoot, how would you know um, what needed to be matted in? Did you do some preliminary I'd drawings? do sketches. If I find something that um, what normally happens is that you have a sketch artist like uh, Don de Grady, who was fabulous at that. He, we'd have these boards with all these sketches showing how the whole film was going to be shot. And then from those sketches, I would be able to see we'd need certain things that I would blow up, make bigger, and get involved with those particular ones. And I was very happy to be working with such a great man as, as Don de Grotti, who knew the business back and forth. He'd worked with Walt with many years, and I shared his office for a while before I moved off into my own office. And it was a great moment in my life to meet with a great a man like this, so unassuming, so quiet. You'd never believe that he was so full of very clever ideas, wonderful ideas.